Deliberations are ongoing and suspended Attorney General Ken Paxton's impeachment trial in Austin. We are now on verdict watch. The state's top cop and attorney faces 16 articles of impeachment, accusing him of misusing the powers of his office. And we've been covering this trial like no one else with an in-depth approach that we're calling the bench. It's available on TV, on our live stream and on click to Houston.com. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz is part of our team of experts, but first we want to begin with anchor Keith Garvin, who is joining us live from Austin alongside Mario. Gentlemen, good evening. Hey, good evening, Andy, Lisa. Yes, we were in the fifth hour of del deliberations here in Austin. The fate of Ken Paxton in the hands of 30 of the 31 senators here in Texas. In just a moment, we're going to talk about the one senator who is not involved in deliberations. But first, Mario, I want to ask you, give me your, your thoughts on closing arguments today. Uh, I think of immediately of quick and high production value. There was this unconventional approach of 60 minutes time limit for each side to present closing arguments. And then you had this video playlist of the greatest hits, essentially, of the trial for the prosecution. They were able to play the, the sound bites, the testimony that they wanted to on video for everyone to see. We want to bring in Bill Miller now, expert here inside this Capitol, an Austin insider. What was your reaction to this testimony in terms of its effectiveness? It was unconventional and highly effective, and it was delivered without, with perfection. Absolutely outstanding. And the other thing was, we didn't see one particular person, Keith, mm -hmm. Rusty Harden. Exactly, yes, yes. Speaking of Rusty Harden, you know, Rusty Harden is used to having the spotlight in many big cases. He did not lead the closing arguments for the prosecution. You and Mario spoke to him afterwards. What, what did he have to say uh, about not delivering those closing arguments? Well, he seemed really happy with what happened, and he was very, very... I guess you would say just full of gratitude for the state reps and the job they did. He, he was, he couldn't have said nicer things about them. Okay. All right, Rusty and of course, uh, not only Rusty Harden, but on the on the other side, we have another Houston attorney who is used to the spotlight as well, Tony Busby. But he, of course, is on the defense. Tony Busby, uh, he, he he raised a, a few eyebrows today. He did because Keith, the last few days, a lot of people were saying he was very effective. He kind of toned things down. But then once he got up on that stand, you saw Tony Busby, who feels very confident inside of big rooms. And obviously, this was not only a big room, but a historic moment. You saw him attack the prosecution and their witnesses, trying to discredit all the testimony that we heard. But then you had the House come back and play their testimony. So it was, it was intriguing to see them perform without the video testimony that we saw from the House. Also, one slight strategic mistake, and Bill, I think you'll agree, that's when Tony Busby actually objected Keith in the middle of the closing arguments by Representative Jeff Leach. That's a no-no in the courtroom. Well, your thoughts on that objection? It was unnecessary, ill-timed, and I bet if he had to do it again, he'd take it back in a heartbeat. It was just a mistake. Yeah, we're talking about the senators as well, uh, that jury right now that is deliberating. Uh, and uh, there needs to be two-thirds or 21 of the, the 30 sen senators who were deliberating. Right. We know the one senator who is not deliberating is Senator Paxton, who is the wife of the attorney general, the suspended attorney general. What is uh, happening with her right now? What is her role, if any? Amari, I'll ask you first. She's not able to take part in these deliberations. And the, her role throughout this entire process, Keith, is to basically tell everybody, I'm here, I'm standing by my man. And today, she was inside during the closing arguments, taking notes, paying very close attention. Bill, you know the Paxtons. Uh, what uh, are they, if we could be a fly on the wall, uh, what are they? dealing with? What are they doing at this moment? Well, they're both pretty cool customers. They're sitting somewhere. They're wondering, of course, what's going on, hoping for the best, probably thinking about the worst. It's, you know, one of those situations where you don't know, so you have to be prepared either way. Okay. Timeline again, I'll ask you, do uh, what? when do you think we're going to have a verdict? I think if it comes tonight, that it favors the prosecution. If it comes later, tomorrow, or thereafter, then they're likelihood of success begins to diminish. Okay. All right, Bill, thank you, Mario. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are on deliberation watch, and we're going to have the very latest if they come with any decisions uh, in this half hour or later on at 6 o'clock. We'll see you then.